welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how I make my DIY hair crack growth oil. First I will be starting out with olive oil. Olive oil has antioxidant power which promotes healthy hair growth and also helps to rehydrate the hair by penetrating the hair shaft and seals in moisture. Next is coconut oil. Coconut oil stimulates hair growth, adds luster, shine, and softness to the hair. It also prevents breakage and split ends. Avocado oil moisturizes dried, brittle, and damaged hair. It's also rich in many vitamins and proteins, and it also strengthens the hair shaft. Sweet almond oil is rich in B vitamins, known to promote hair growth. It also promotes blood circulation and prevents inflammation. Then I will be adding jojoba oil. Jojoba oil moisturizes the scalp and hair follicles. It helps dandruff and promotes hair thickness. Jamaican black castor oil moisturizes, thickens, strengthens, and rapidly increases hair growth. It increases blood circulation to the scalp, supplying nutrients to the hair follicles. Next is vitamin E oil which repairs damaged follicles and prevents tissue corrosion. It promotes blood circulation and acts as a deep moisturizer. Then I'll add rosemary essential oil, which prevents premature graying and dandruff. It helps dry itchy scalp and stimulates blood circulation to the scalp. Tea tree oil acts as an antifungal. It rids dandruff and cradle cap. It also stimulates blood flow and reduces inflammation. Lavender creates a stimulating effect. It penetrates the cells in the scalp, nourishes, and provides blood circulation. It increases the circulation, which brings more nutrients and oxygen to the hair follicles. And lastly, peppermint oil. Peppermint prevents hair loss and increases circulation. Feel free to stop here. This oil mixture is very nutrient packed. It's great for moisturizing your hair and scalp and it will help with the hair growth. But since I'm a little bit extra, I'm gonna kick this oil up a notch and I'm gonna add my Ayurvedic herb. I know you guys are wondering, what the heck is Ayurveda, Jazz? Well, Ayurveda is an ancient system of holistic healing which originated in India. There are certain Indian herbs that can be used to improve the overall health of your hair. And here are some of the herbs that I will be using. I use the double boiler method to warm 1 fourth cup of coconut oil. Emla strengthens the scalp and hair, it reduces premature graying, and it stimulates hair growth. Fenugreek seeds combats hair fall by strengthening and nourishing the hair roots. It also contains proteins that stimulate hair growth. Fenugreek seeds also add shine to the hair. Neem clears clogged pores and enhances hair growth. It also has regenerative properties. Brahmi. Brahmi is used to promote the overall health of your hair. It prevents split ends and reduces hair loss. Aloe vera helps repair dead skin on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. Ah, Brain Garage is the best. So Brain Garage activates the hair follicles resulting in increased hair growth. It is also used as a great scalp exfoliator and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. Kessia is an excellent conditioner. It provides minerals, elasticity, and shine to the hair. It also purifies the scalp and helps regulate sebum. Vitamin C helps build collagen, which is highly important for hair growth, and helps your body absorb iron, which is a mineral necessary for hair growth. MSM is rich in sulfur. Sulfur can form bonds essential for strengthening hair and influencing hair growth. Saw palmetto prevents hair loss. Now you want to give it a good stir, and your Ayurvedic mixture is complete. At this point, you want to add your Ayurvedic mixture to your oil mixture. You can also save some of your Ayurvedic mixture for later if you want to add to your deep conditioner. I usually let this mixture sit for a few days before I actually use it, just so I know my herbs are nice and marinated and infused inside the oils. I also make sure I give it a shake every now and then just to loosen up the herbs at the bottom. Once it has set, the herbs will settle to the bottom and the oil will look less cloudy. I then separate the herbs from the oil and I transfer it over to an applicator bottle for easy use.
I pretty much use this mixture daily to moisturize my hair and scalp. I also use it in my deep conditioning treatments and hot oil treatments. If you have made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. Comment if you would like to see more DIY videos. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.